Hey everyone, welcome to Double Needle Design, and today I'm going to teach you how to use an architectural scale. Architectural scales are used when you're trying to size uh, items or elements on a drawing that don't have a dimension pulled for them automatically. When you print out a set of drawings, uh, you have to scale them down in order to get an entire building to fit on a page or part of a building to fit on a page. And you usually associate that with a numbered scale. Architecturally, you've got a wide range of scales from really large scale uh, drawings, such as three inches equals one foot, uh, six inches equals one foot, an inch and a half equals one foot, all the way to really tiny scales so you can get an entire shopping center on a page, such as one sixteenth equals one foot, one inch equals 20 feet, one inch equals 40 feet, one inch equals 100 feet. This scale will only go up to a 16 scale. So I'll show you how to use this really quick. If you notice, we've got these numbers on the side of each corner and the scale has three sides to it. You'll notice it has a color bar running down the middle, green in this case, red and black. Uh, red is always associated in my mind with the common architectural scales, one eighth, one quarter, one half. Those are pretty common when, when going off most drawings. Uh, sometimes you'll get into some odd scales on the black side like 3 seconds or 3 sixteenths, um, or on the green side you have 3 eighths or a three inch scale. The first thing you need to do is find what you want to measure to. We'll make it really easy. In this case, we'll measure between these two grid lines. Now, we already have a dimension pulled, so it'll be very easy for us to check that. However, this drawing's been printed at half size, so it's not going to be accurate. It's actually going to be a double what we read on the scale. So the first thing we're going to do is determine what the scale of the drawing is. And on most architectural drawings, the scale is indicated either down below the, the view name or sometimes on the right hand side of the drawing. So in this case, we're call out in a large floor plan that is one eighth of an inch. So if this drawing was printed full size on the sheet that it was originally laid out on, we would use a one eighth inch scale, which indicated by the one eighth on this side of the architectural scale. Because this is printed at half size, we're gonna half that one eighth inch scale. So it's actually gonna be the one sixteenth side. Well, we don't have a one sixteenth indicated here, but we do have a 16 on the black edge here. So using that, every tick mark equals one sixteenth of an inch, and that equals one foot. And so for every tick mark that we see listed here, we can call that out in that number of tick marks times 16. So in this case, the one indicates one times 16 or 16 feet. So now that we've determined that this is a 16th, let's, let's go ahead and do some measuring. Let's measure between these two grid lines at 21. Now, before we even lay this down, if we know that every foot is equal to one 16th, then what we're gonna find out is we're gonna have 21 tick marks for a 21 foot measurement. So in this case, if I've actually got an eighth inch drawing, or in this case, this enlarged floor plan, what I can do is start the zero at this line and using the top row of numbers, I can determine how far something is based on where the other tick mark lands. So let's start with this small room. Right now it is indicated at four, eight, and then the next tick mark would be nine. So that's a nine foot wide room on this drawing. Don't forget, this is half scale. So let's double that and make it actually an 18 foot wide room. This one says two feet right here. We'll place our scale down and we'll put it down and we'll notice that it only has one tick mark. On an eighth inch scale, that would be one foot. Well, let's multiply that by two and now we have a two foot measurement. So we know that our scale is working properly. So I hope that helps. This is all about how to use an architectural scale. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's keep working together. I'm Scott with Double Needle Design. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time.